What did you want to be when you were younger? When I was little, I wanted to be a teacher. My mother was a teacher, so it's still all of her teacher's editions and play school with my little brother. A doctor. Graduated high school, applied to undergrad, pre-med. Um, went to college my first semester, and my roommate was a theater manager. So he asked me to go see his first play that fall, and I did, and went to the after party, and I met a whole group of people that thought like I did. Um, there were no limits. They, they thought outside the box, and I found them interesting. So on Monday, I went and changed my degree from pre-med to speech and theater. I was involved in show choir and jazz and tap and hip hop for about 15 years. And when I was a kid, all I really wanted to do was create the dances. Until I was 12, I wanted to be a missionary. And then we had actual missionaries from China come to visit our church. And they talked about the 12 inch long bugs that they had to live with. And I changed my mind immediately. That whole sense of helping people I saw the attributes in both teaching and in medicine. And my whole philosophy about being an educator is to make people better people. Why? Because I thought it was the coolest thing ever because you get to write on a chalkboard. You know what a chalkboard is. Yeah. Oh, because if you don't have dreams, then how do you know that you've accomplished anything? How do you know what's next or what's the next adventure. My dreams alone are the main cause of where, why I am where I am. It's important to follow your dreams because if you're not happy in what you're doing, what's the point? I would say have small dreams and big dreams and see what you can do about both of them.